I always say game your content. If you're making videos or on Twitch or YouTube or whatever it is, you do you, you work on you, you work on your goals, that's how you're going to get ahead in life. If you do not continue doing that, you will end up um, in a position where you're doing something you hate or you will get stuck in a cycle or rut or whatever it is. You should keep working on, even if it's a temp, most things in the workplace or uh, whatever you're working on take about 10 minutes. So even if you take it, it takes you so long, I, I'm, I'm talking to myself when I'm saying this too, if it takes you all day, 24, or not 24 hours, uh, 16 hours of the day, and that last 17 hour, th hour of the day is is to do 10 minutes of work, your 15 minutes at the end of the day, to put a post up, go on to Twitter, I'm on Twitter as well, so I'm by the way, X, um, I appreciate any of the follows, as I say. I'm happy to take any bot follows. I don't care. It just looks... The numbers increase. Well, at least... Again, what these companies do is they do... They have bots as well. They pay for bots. They pay for advertising. They pay for fake advertising. They pay for fake uh, viewers. They pay for fake everything. And they have no shame in it. So why should you? Why should it matter to you? They take any money that they can possibly get their hands on. They'll, they'll treat people... In, in the worst way possible and smile at their face in, in front of their face that's what these people do when you're working you do it all day every day but for, as I say you do you and work on what that it may be if it if it's just trying to get this picture and make it as best as you possibly can and starting on it for the 10 minutes is the start of the progress and 10 minutes each day becomes 50 minutes 20 minutes half an hour or 30 minutes uh to 45 minutes to an hour and that's the same as the workplace the workplace gets you to do eight hours but they get you to show up for more than 12 or about 12 hours so you feel like you're doing 12 16 hours but it only takes 10 minutes to do the work so those 10 minutes of the day that you're doing whether you're in a factory putting parts into a machine or sorting packages or or it's all going to be crap or delivering packages. The work itself is driving if you're delivering and the work itself is delivering the package. That's, ten, that's not even two minutes. That's what it's all about. And that's the same for every single thing. I'm, as I say, I ta I'm talking to myself about this, but I'm also um, pointing out that that's that's what that's the reality we live in. Ten minutes of looking at something, or or no, sixteen hours of looking at something. Ten minutes of doing the work, or sixteen hours of doing it and getting and feeling like you've made no progress. But in between those and each hour, it's been ten minutes of doing, or five minutes or two minutes of looking or reading, reading a book, uh, looking at a screen. Uh, Call centers are the worst for it. You're sitting looking at the screen all day. There's 10 minutes before we're shutting down. Call center, you're sitting looking at the screen, taking a call, taking a call, taking a call, taking a call. That's that's it. You're not actually doing anything. Like we're like I'm doing right now, sitting talking. There's no, there's nothing in it. That's what all workplaces have. There's. Uh, and the money then goes into your bank account and they feel as if they're paying you for doing nothing. Which you are doing nothing. You, you're not making any productive progress in your own personal life. And to the person that's paying you, they feel as if you shouldn't be getting any money anyway. So you might as well, if you're hating doing something like that or you're hating whatever workplace it is or you're, you're, you're screaming uh, every single day trying to get out of, the, out of work because you have to go in Find those 10 minutes of whatever it is once you get home, even if it's just to sit in the sofa or sit on in your house or whatever it is, and meditate. Spending those 10 minutes meditating to try and gather your thoughts and control yourself is more productive, is a thousand times more productive to you personally than the amount of things that you do to get into work and come home or whatever it is. Uh, I personally enjoy reading books. I personally enjoy playing games. 
Uh, I personally like. I, I, I uh, pointed out these things in life that uh, it is very difficult for other people to understand to, to see. Even for myself, I'm not, it's not. It's not as if I see it any different. I, there's times I, I'm not. Nobody's. Nobody's going to have. Per, no one's perfect, and everyone knows that. Everyone knows you're not going to be perfect, but it's a goal to strive for, not something to say that you're going to get to. It's something that you can strive towards. Imagine that perfection is never going to be reached, but at least you can strive towards that of what your goal is. The perfect day, the perfect, uh, the perfect life, the perfect uh, body, the perfect uh, workplace, whatever it is, that you that you, the perfect work that you produce the perfect amount of money that would you know when I say money it's it's far more difficult because you're not going to get that as easily when it comes to reality like you need to that, that's what all the personal personal work supposed to be for because then say like it, you want to be a person who does interviews on on the internet like a podcast or something just start doing it for yourself like I'm doing now. It doesn't, I don't even care about this. That's the G, the, the, all these ones that do all this stuff. If you actually pay attention to them, they berate people, they, they talk down to people, they, they say they say nasty things, they, do, they don't care. They don't want to be doing it. But then the next day they might go, oh, I don't mind doing this. You know, it's, it's, everyone has their up days, down days, different moods swings whatever and all no one is perfect but the, the the fact of the matter is is the video has been done the 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 photograph has been taken the the book the the book title has been created the the um the meditation has been started the the research has been has been has been looked up you know you've looked for it uh, you know even if it takes you two seconds to look it on google you have started that progress and it will not leave your mind until you can clear everything else on your personal mind and calendar or whatever it is to focus or even even if it's not focused and it's all a mess to work up shaving that down until you get to where uh, lifting the pen, the paper, the pencil, or whatever it is to draw, or whatever the artwork has been started. That's what it is. Ten minutes at best. Ten minutes. There's there's hundreds of millions of people that have pointed out over time in the health industry that ten minutes is all it takes in the health and well-being industry 10 minutes you've got the mental health ones you've got the the physical health ones the the ones selling the nutrition stuff and all 10 minutes is all the work and if you if you can't even find that 10 minutes two minutes 10 seconds is all it takes as well looking up that their photograph that you wanted to to draw as a portrait or or uh, that character you wanted to create in a book that you wanted to be, or you want to be, or or adding that link for your affiliate, ten seconds on on your random web page somewhere on Reddit or whatever it is or Twitter, you know that's it. That's all it is. It's don't make it more bigger than what it is. Or maybe I'm wrong. Make it bigger than what it is, and make it like so big that you can't get your hands around it, and you're never going to understand it. And but if you don't take that and actually spend the two seconds looking it up on Google or whatever it is you want to do, then there's nothing produced, and then you're back to the same routine again. Because you can do something you hate for your whole life, or you can do something you love. But you're still gonna it's still gonna get on your nerves.
but it, it's better to look back at something you tried to love than something you did and looking back and saying you hated it every second of it so you might as well make the effort to try doing something that you love than something that you hate and you're still doing it just imagine how much energy you could spend on something you love and the amount of force that you're using an energy on the workplace or whatever it is on the thing you hate I'll leave it there I, I don't know what else to say take care game your own content look after yourself